You know that feeling when you feel about as welcome as a fart in a spacesuit? Could the planet Mars have been inhabited by a Martian civilization in the not too distant past? Yes, we believe that to be true. And there may even have been open communication between the planet Mars and the planet Earth in the ancient solar configuration. And that's before the solar system fell apart. And we very well may be the Martians. During the Squatterman event, Venus, Mars and the Earth are lined up vertically. Our mythologies describe these planets as the literal gods of antiquity. Saturn being the king of the gods, the almighty ruler. Saturn goes through a nova event, depicted as the winged sun disk of antiquity. And as the intensity of this nova ramps up, cataclysm strikes the earth. But the more intense disturbances are on Venus, which ejects from the ancient solar configuration under this pressure, and Mars. The old solar system falls apart, and Mars, Venus, and Saturn are cast to the abyss from an Earthling's perspective. And this is the intense plasma exchange becoming too intense for even the planets. Earth's atmosphere survives miraculously. Mars probably becomes stripped of its atmosphere during this time. The Valles Marinus on the red planet suggests that something drastic almost split the planet in two. This was a result of the intensity of the Saturnian Nova event. Mars has a weapon signature, Xeon 129, and that signature is three times higher than the areas of our planet where nuclear bombs were tested. That signature exists on Mars because of Saturn's Nova event. The signature exists because of the Squatterman event. So when we explore Mars today, we do expect to find remnants of an ancient civilization. One day, one day we should find something completely jaw-dropping. But in the meantime, the quest to understand Mars, our neighboring planet, has taken a significant leap forward with the recent discoveries made by China's Zurong rover. The Zurong rover's findings have profound implications for our understanding of Mars's geological history and its potential to have supported life in the distant past. China's Zurong rover is part of the Tianwen-1 mission and it landed on the planet Mars in May of 2021 in the Utopia Planitia region. This is a vast plain in the northern hemisphere of the planet Mars. The rover's mission included searching for signs of water or ice, and it has successfully identified geological features indicative of a past ocean. The evidence includes sedimentary deposits, water-related minerals, and geomorphological structures such as pitted cones and troughs. The data collected by the rover suggests that an ocean existed on the red planet in the not-too-distant past. The presence of hydrated minerals, like silica, indicates that water was once abundant in this region. These findings support the long-debated theory that Mars had significant bodies of water, potentially covering a third of the red planet's surface. But it doesn't stop there. In addition to the ocean, the rover has also identified what appears to be an ancient shoreline. The discovery of the shoreline was made by analysing the topography and sedimentary structures around the rover's landing site. Features such as sediment channels and mud volcano formations suggest the presence of a coastline where water once lapped against the Martian surface. The shoreline is believed by experts to have formed during a period when the ice froze the ocean over, creating distinct layers of sediment. The discovery of an ancient ocean and shoreline on Mars is significant for several reasons, including the potential for past life. The presence of liquid water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. The existence of a vast ocean 
increases the likelihood that Mars would have supported life in its past. This discovery fuels the ongoing search for evidence of past life on the planet Mars. Understanding the history of water on Mars helps scientists reconstruct the planet's climate and geological history. It provides insights into the processes that shaped the Martian surface and the planet's evolution over the past few billion years. Studying Mars's ancient shoreline and ocean allows scientists to draw comparisons with Earth's geological history. It helps in understanding the similarities and differences between the two planets, offering a broader perspective on planetary evolution. These discoveries mark a milestone in Mars' exploration. The evidence of an ancient ocean and shoreline not only supports the theory of a watery past on Mars, but also opens new avenues for research into the planet's potential to have harboured life. As we continue to explore Mars, these findings will undoubtedly shape our understanding of the Red Planet and its place in the current solar system.